can begin now, uh, let me see, with the, with the second half of these uh, uh, discussion of, of, of conservation equations. Uh, I kind of uh, indicated at the end the last time that we need expressions, expressions for the transport properties that, uh, that, appear, that appear in those uh, equations that we derived uh, the, the uh, from uh, the reacting Navier-Stokes equations derived from the kinetic theory of gases. And those transport properties can uh, uh, be uh, uh, provided by, uh, by uh, 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 application of, of uh, uh, actually, uh, the, uh, the uh, an expansion procedure that uh, was developed by Chap Chapman, Enskog, and others. Uh, uh, they're related. They're related then to collisions. That, that collision term in the in the uh, 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 Boltzmann equation. <coughs> uh, and so, the second half then uh, we'll look at the collision collision term in uh, look at multi-component diffusion equations. Uh, 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 expressions for diffusion coefficient, uh, as, uh, as well as viscosity and thermal conductivity, uh, uh, that that lead then to a, 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 the complete conservation equations. That uh, 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 this is Appendix E material leading to Chapter One <laughs> uh, of uh, the. Uh, uh, associated reading material. And after that, if we have time, we'll, uh, I'd like to go on and look at uh, s s the simplifications that people use in combustion theory to, 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 because there's lots of information in those reacting Navier-Stokes equations, but there are some problems for which uh, useful, simple Simplifications can, can can be developed. So uh, uh, that's the uh, uh, general plan for this uh, uh, second second half. Uh, and so uh, 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 so looking at molecular collisions, uh, uh, the theory of of uh, uh, binary molecular collisions is is really rather rather well well developed uh, and uh, is available in 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 uh, 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 books on 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 kinetic theory such as Chapman and Cowling and uh, Hirschfeld, Curtis and Bird. Uh, it, uh, when you look at two molecules that are colliding. It's it's most convenient to, to, to look at look at the collision in the center of mass system, so that you move with the center of mass of the molecule. So when you do that, uh, you can uh, 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 express uh, this the, the interaction in this central force form, where there is a force center in the center of mass system, and uh, uh, and so 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 the. A two-body problem then reduces to a one-body problem, the motion of an equivalent body in this central force. And that one-body problem involves the reduced mass, the product of the mass of one of the uh, molecules and the other divided by the sum. Uh, the reduced mass mu moves along in a, a trajectory like this in the center of mass system, uh, usually uh, for for uh, um, um, uh, mo molecular interactions uh, at long distances, there's an attractive force that, that, that pulls the molecules closer together so that uh, uh, this uh, distance uh, between the two molecules is the, is the, is the uh, radial coordinate in that system. So that distance then may, may tend to decrease but then when they get really close to each other, then their, their electron clouds repel each other. And, and uh, uh, so there's typically an attraction followed by, by a repulsion, which leads to 
a trajectory like this in the center of mass system, uh, uh, the uh, 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 motion in, 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 that, uh, in, in that system involves two parameters, which is the relative velocity that's, that they're approaching each other, this g, the relative velocity of the two molecules in the center of mass system, and how far, how much they would miss each other by, if they, if they, if there was no, no potential <coughs> between them, uh, the, the so-called impact parameter, the dis distance between the lines of centers, of of of, of, of the, the lines of the velocity vectors of the of the two molecules. So there's the impact parameter b and the. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, and, and, and the relative velocity g, uh, which def defines the, the, the uh, nature of the collision. And so uh, for a given value of b and g, there's a result of the collision. This is not a reacting collision. This is a uh, non-reacting collision. Uh, the result is, is a scattering angle in the center of mass, uh, uh, or a deflection angle, chi. And so, so in this system, one molecule comes in, the, 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 the effective uh, 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 reduced body with reduced mass comes in and, and then goes back with some. Uh, and so there is a, a uh, uh, there is a, 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 uh, an interaction potential. And for a central force, the potential of interaction between the two molecules, the function only the distance r between the molecules. So depending on this interaction potential, uh, the, the scattering angle, uh, the, the, the deflection angle, um, uh, well, uh, as you might expect, decreases as the impact parameter increases uh, so, that the, so that the interaction is not so strong. And it also depends on the, on, the, on the kinetic energy compared to the potential energy. The kinetic energy in, in, the, in the reduced mass system is the reduced mass times the square of the relative velocity. Uh, 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 and so the, the, there's this general formula from classical mechanics for, for scatter, scattering angle, uh, so this uh, uh, for deflection angle. Uh, um, uh, uh, yeah, and 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 with this kind of the the, the integral is it takes place over the the uh, uh, over the uh, uh, history of the interaction. Uh, there's a, a distance of a closest approach R M. So the so so the the deflection angle is the integral from the distance of closest approach to infinity of that function. And uh, uh, the distance of closest approach from the dynamics uh, uh, is uh, well uh, is that the is a value where the potential is the is the kinetic energy one minus is that so so this is a result of uh, of uh, uh, of uh, cl a classical uh, mechanics description of the interaction between two molecules. And it's the starting point for, for deriving expressions for, for transport properties. In, 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 uh, um, and now, uh, uh, we're just not going to have time in this course to, 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 to go through the, the details of, of, of the uh, uh, kinetic theory of gases uh, 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 nor is the, are those details present in the handout material in, 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 in the, for the course in, in, uh, simply because there's too much involved. There's the mathematical theory of non-uniform gases in Chapman and Cowling, and uh, what, when I grew up, we called the Green Monster, a giant green-colored book by Curtis Hirschfeld and Bird called The Molecular Theory of Gases and Liquids, which has had numerous misprints, but nevertheless so much very important material that it, it is the key, key source of, 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 of information, especially after those misprints are corrected. 
in 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 uh, in kinetic theory of gases. Uh, um, it, it, it's just that the, 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 all I can say is that the general nature of the approach is the so-called uh, chapman henscott theory, which presumes that in these gases that the time of interaction of it during a collision, uh, the time in which molecules are not following the straight trajectory, but th this interaction time is short compared with the free time, the front time that the molecules are just moving, moving by themselves without uh, experiencing forces of other molecules. Uh, uh, um, so uh, the uh, uh, interaction time then is small compared with the uh, where am I? yeah with the uh, free time, uh, which is turns out the equivalent to say that that, that the the uh, uh, that there's a mean free path that the molecule uh, travels between collisions, and that mean free path is large compared with the, the size of the molecule or the, the, the range of, 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 of interaction of, uh, of, 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 uh, of the molecular potential. And uh, uh, so by, by uh, looking at the dynamics of, of, of these, these collisions, uh, 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 these uh, uh, textbooks come out with, with expressions rigorously derived expressions from, 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 from rigorous asymptotic analysis of, for small values of the ratio of the collision time to the free time uh, uh, for uh, uh, the transport properties of transport uh, in terms of uh, 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 in terms of integrals over, over the collision. So the, the interval involve, integrals involve the deflection angle and depending on what transport property uh, you're interested in, uh, uh, the integral involves the deflection angle to the first or second or, or, or some higher, higher power that. Uh, uh, and it also involves the, well, a non-dimensional uh, relative velocity. That is the relative velocity of the two molecules divided by uh, 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 this uh, uh, this this velocity, which would be related to the kinetic energy, the square root of two kT over over mu uh, uh, over the re, over the reduced mass. Uh, uh, so it's a non-dimensional, the non-dimensional so-called collision integral for for re, uh, react for for molecule pairs I and J with it's but different powers of this of this uh, uh, relative velocity, 2L. Uh, and so K and L are integers in these collision, collision integrals. And so it's through the collision integrals that are calculated then from, from dynamics of the collisions. And so, so, so people uh, use, uh, 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 you, 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 it's, it's a uh, uh, Morna-Hoppenheimer approximation that uh, that lets you go from quantum mechanics to classical mechanics, classic, classical mechanic description of the interaction between uh, two, two, two molecules. Uh, 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 in the, the, so that there's an effect of potential that's calculated from the uh, Schrodinger equation that gives you the, the uh, 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 potential, the, 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 potential of the electrons surrounding the, the nucleus, uh, an electron surrounding other nucleus as they come closer and closer together, give, give a, uh, 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 an effective force between, between them uh, that leads to these, these uh, uh, collision integrals that uh, uh, then are the, really the basis of, of, of uh, 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 kinetic theory uh, uh, calculation of, of molecular, molecular transport properties. So it's very, very fundamental in that in that way. Uh, so the, 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 when the calculations are actually done, the 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 uh, um, results of the 
say, quantum calculation or, if you like, e experiments on molecular, shooting molecular, molecules at each other and molecular beams, which people don't do much more, but see uh, what, uh, what, what the deflection angles are. Uh, those results are, are kind of fit to, to uh, 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 molecular potential that will be attractive at large distances and repulsive at small distances, typically a uh, Leonard Jones uh, 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 six power attraction, uh, uh, 12 power repulsion in, in, in the potential. Uh, the potential then is what leads to the, the uh, deflection angle, which then leads to the, to the collision integral. Uh, 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 and this is true for most molecular interactions. There are special molecular interactions, such as Coulomb interactions, uh, uh, um, where, well, Coulomb force, where the ionized molecules, uh, uh, ionized uh, uh, atoms, say, uh, interact each other. They can lead to powers here that can lead to divergences in collision integrals. Uh, Coulomb interaction is, uh, tends to be a long-range force, and so the whole idea of chapman inskog theory with a, a free pass and then a, 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 a short, short interaction time uh, is not all that good for Coulomb interactions. Uh, uh, it experiences mathematical difficulties that lead to divergences, uh, um, and so it leads to really the whole question of the validity of Chapman and Skog theory for for uh, uh, for ionized gas interactions. But in combustion, usually it's not hot enough that too few ions that, it, that that makes much difference. So, so for, we use can use uh, this uh, if you really want to get specific values for for transport properties. Then they're available in places like well, for example, this latest edition of the original properties of gases and liquids. Uh, fifth of the edition is available online from Amazon. Get at it, but basically it's using this kind of a thing. Uh, uh, I included here uh, a, 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 a simplified physical description of uh, uh, of diffusion coefficients of calculating molecular diffusion uh, um, uh, in multi-component gas mixtures. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, this goes back, I think, to the 40s. Furry looked at it this way and others. Um, uh, if you have a, so if you want to, if you want to, 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 to do an estimate not with that detailed uh, Interaction at this stage, well, you want to just see what the what the diffusion equation would look like for for multi-component for multi-component gas mixtures. You can you can look at uh, the net rate of change of a momentum of uh, all molecules of some particular kind, and that changes with time. Uh, 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 net rate of change per unit volume per unit time uh, due to, well, due to external forces acting on the molecule. Those forces uh, 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 with acceleration F and, and mass per unit volume of the molecule will give you that, that contribution to, to uh, uh, the uh, increase in momentum per unit volume of mo molecules. So you're looking at a, a unit volume of space, molecules of kind of I, but then they're also co colliding with the other molecules inside that unit volume. And so uh, the net transfer of momentum is gonna depend on the net difference of velocities of the, of the, of the molecules that are colliding. And that 
net difference then is proportional to the difference of the diffusion velocities of the molecules. And so there's no contribution molecules colliding with themselves, but molecules colliding with other, other molecules will lead to a, a change, a change in, in uh, momentum of molecules of kind I per unit volume per unit time. Uh, it depends on, the re again, the reduced mass of the colliding molecules, mu i j, and the collision frequency, the number of collisions per unit volume per unit time. Uh, uh, and so there are these two force contributions to, uh, uh, to uh, uh, the uh, uh, momentum change uh, of a molecule. Uh, in the, now, those contributions are res resulted, result in then a change in the momentum of the molecule, and that momentum change can, is reflected both in the change in the momentum of the, of the, the contribution of molecules of this kind to the mass average mo motion of the, uh, uh, of, of, of the gas, uh, this term, but also uh, results uh, from uh, a change in, 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 in the uh, uh, average peculiar uh, uh, momentum fluxes of, of of molecules of that kind, which is then the, the uh, gradient of the partial pressure of of uh, of molecules of kind I. So if you equate equate that to that, and use an expression for the gradient of the partial pressure in terms of the gradient of the of the mole fractions, you come out with the so-called Stefan Maxwell form of the multi-component uh, diffusion coefficient. Uh, it's a form that instead of giving the diffusion velocities as a function of the concentration gradients or mass fraction gradients, gives the gradients of the mass fraction in terms of these differences of, of, of diffusion velocities. Uh, this uh, molecular interaction term uh, and through this pressure term, there's this uh, uh, there's a, a pressure gradient con contribution, and through the body force term, there's a body force contribution to, to that. Uh, so this is a simplified uh, description of of, uh, of diffusion processes, uh, 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 but it, it captures the main the main physics of, of the interaction in, 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 in that form. Uh, the, uh, 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 this <coughs> um, collision term then can be related back to diffusion coefficients by considering special case. Special case would be, for example, constant pressure without body forces, so you just balance those <laughs> those two terms, and if you do that, then, then that equation reduces to this simple equation, uh, 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 right? But if you, you but you're considering just a binary mixture, so that these differences of the fusion velocities are uh, 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 can be re related to to. Uh, <coughs> the diffusion velocity of just one, because the other gives the mass average velocity, which, uh, 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 yeah. Uh, um, when you go through this description, it turns out to be better, uh, more convenient to, to work with the diffusion velocity vi prime, w measured with respect to the number weighted average velocity rather than the mass weighted average velocity, which is, this is the number weighted average velocity. And so this is the velocity of molecule of kind one with respect to that number weighted average velocity. And the point is, uh, with uh, a bit of algebra, which my students usually get wrong, but uh, uh, then they redo it and they finally get it right, uh, they get fixed law of diffusion they, from that uh, result. Uh, if you identify uh, this particular co contribution with, w with the diffusion coefficient, that is, 
the, so this, you're looking at just at a two component mixture so that this is a binary diffusion coefficient, just two components, binary diffusion. Uh, if, and if, if you identify the binary, the, the, the fixed law binary diffusion coefficient uh, measured with respect now to the number weighted average rather than mass average related to average velocity is the product of the mole fractions partial pressure divided by this reduced mass and, uh, and collision frequency, then you come up with this equation for the now, now explicitly for the diffusion velocity measured with respect to the number weighted average velocity in terms of, of the concentration or mass fraction mole fraction gradient, mole fraction gradient of, 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 of that, that species. Uh, uh, as I say, this is a equivalent to having the, this be a, a, a mass fraction diffusion velocity with, with respect to mass weighted average velocity and the same coefficient with the gradient of, 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 of the mass fraction of the species. So, these are two equivalent forms of fixed law. This is the number weighted average form for binary mixture. Uh, the other is the mass weighted average form. But then if you substitute this from this identification back into the original equation, then, then um, the uh, Stefan Maxwell equation involves now just binary diffusion coefficients. So this is what, how the two molecules would, how the molecules would interact if there weren't anything around except for that, that molecule pair, binary diffusion coefficient appears, okay? So this is a, a, a normal diffusion contribution. This is a pressure gradient diffusion contribution. This is body force diffusion contribution. And this whole analysis has neglected the possible de dependence of diffusion velocities or concentration gradients on temperature gradients. And uh, there is also, uh, and from that, actually from the physical picture that underlies, you can get, you can, you can correct that by adding a dependence on temperature gradient. Temperature gradient means a, a variation, temperature gradient means a variation in the averages of the fluctuating, fluctuation velocities and uh, the, the peculiar velocities, and, and uh, so uh, that translates back into uh, this temperature gradient term where DTI is diffusion coefficient. For th coefficient for thermal diffusion uh, of for species I. And so this is a, a general form of the uh, 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 general Stefan Maxwell form that includes those, these, uh, um, um, diffusion uh, coefficient contributions. The, the thermal diffusion effect is the Soare effect, or as uh, uh, someone uh, has, as Dan Rossner, uh, the professor of someone who spoke this morning, uh, pointed out it really should be called, the, and he always calls it the Ludwig Soare effect, Soare effect rather than the Soare effect, because Ludwig actually identified this effect before Soare did, but we all call it Soare. Uh, it's diffusion, it, so it's a diffusion velocity, ultimately caused by a temperature gradient, which is rather than by a concentration gradient. You think of the concentration gradient from simple kinetic theory giving diffusion velocity, but temperature gradient also can. Uh, 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 and so the Soare effect uh, is not a negligible effect. It's not a negligible effect in many real, real combustion problems. And so this is not something to be ignored, but it's something to be taken into account that besides ordinary concentration gradient, it also is uh, uh, this uh, uh, Soare, Soare diffusion, diffusion contribution. Uh, uh, um, uh, 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 you, you know, <coughs> uh, the, the Soare effect, you should, you, one thing, if you want to take some physical understanding away from, from this sec <coughs> second uh, lecture, 
you, you t take away the physical understanding of, of, the, of the, the overall effect of Soray, of Soray diffusion, which is, you know, it's different from, the or, or, ordinary effect of diffusion is a concentration gradient causes the flux of, of, of species. Soray diffusion, uh, you, can say, you can say, uh, light to hot and heavy to cold, okay? Depend on the mass of the interacting molecules. <laughs> So, so if the molecules, so, so in the interacting of two molecules in a temperature gradient, the lighter of the two molecules is drawn to the hot part, and the heavier of the two molecules is drawn to the cold part. So you don't have to do any computation. You just look at the molecular weight and you say, oh yeah, well I know that uh, if I'm burning H2 in oxygen, I'll, I'll get more H2 in my reaction zone. Why? Because the reaction zone is hot. And so ray diffusion, like the hot, brings H2 into the reaction zone. <laughs> like the hot, heavy to cold. The secondary effect is, is, is small to hot, large to cold. If the, if the collision cross-section is large, then the molecule tends to be driven to the cold side. If, it's, if the collision cross-section is small, the molecule tends to be drawn to the hot side. Uh, uh, so, in that simplified description, the collision frequency depends on the collision cross-section. It's really the collision cross-sections that diverge in, uh, in for, for Coulomb interactions. Uh, it depends on the collision cross-section. Uh, 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 and uh, uh, so, so the, 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 the uh, 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 if, if this is the relative velocity between between the between the, the two two molecules, and a simple kinetic theory gives you relationship between binary diffusion coefficient, collision cross section, and relative velocity, which is this 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 formula here. So the the the, the simple simpler physical approach would lead to an expression like this for binary diffusion coefficients. The more formal chapman enskog approach gives specifically this for binary diffusion coefficients. There are these powers K and L, and K and L are both one for, for, for diffusion coefficients. So this is a diffusion coefficient for ordinary diffusion for the concentration gradient diffusion. Uh, the, uh, uh, so array effect is a more complicated, higher order calculation in Chapman and Scott theory, which has different two and three exponents there instead of just one and one. Uh, uh, yeah, but again, you want to take away something simple uh, uh, idea. Uh, the point is then that that. Um, uh, uh, these diffusion coefficients are, are inversely with the number density, see? Everything else in ideal gas mixtures, including the collision integrals, are only temperature dependent, but there is a density, number density factor here, and which is proportional to pressure. So typically diffusion, molecular diffusion coefficients vary inversely with pressure. But they increase with temperature, uh, maybe we three halves are linear. So that's a general, general uh, 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 physical idea to come up with from dependence of diffusion coefficients on temperature and pressure in, in, in ideal, ideal gas mixture. Always inversely with pressure, increasing with temperature with some power. Uh, uh, an alternative uh, uh, in books like, like Vincenti and Kruger's book on, uh, uh, are, are simplified, uh, are more, which is a good book, by the way, uh, uh, is a mean free path uh, approach uh, to uh, transport. Uh, 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 um, uh, People use these mean free path approach to transport four, four uh, 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 
uh, diffusion as well as for momentum and energy. But fundamentally, it's, it's really justified for <coughs> momentum and energy, these ideas, and not justified for, for diffusion, which is why I went through over the alternative discussion of, of, of diffusion. Uh, um, uh, here, uh, in the mean free path approach, uh, uh, you you look at again stuff being transported by molecular by, by molecular motion across the surface, and so you ask about the uh, 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 momentum per unit area per unit time carried across the surface uh, 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 by uh, uh, a. Uh, 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 by, by molecules, and so uh, the whole idea of transport uh, in gases is what I tried to say something about it at the end last last hour. The, that whole idea of transport in gases is not an idea about uh, interacting uh, of, of of molecules with each other, but it's a, uh, an idea about uh, carrying momentum or energy across uh, surfaces by by uh, by the molecular motion. Uh, 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 oh, well. no, something something really. I pressed the wrong button. I'm sorry about that. Somebody just to come and tell me how to unpress the wrong button. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Uh, 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 right, yeah. So, 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 uh, you know, what, so, so, so from this kind of approach, America, uh, 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 um, you can think that the, that, that, that what the molecule carries across the surface is the average value of whatever that quantity was that it acquired with its, that its, previ with its previous collision. And its previous collision occurred a mean free path away. Uh, uh, and so that's why the flux of the quantity is proportional to the gradient of, of, uh, of the quantity because the gradient of the qu 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 quantity you know, varies with because the, the, the exchange that happened on one side of the surface, the mean free path away, is different from the exchange that happens on the other side, the mean free path away. So there's a the gradient in the quantity leads to a flux of the quantity. This is simple kinetic theory ideas that's proportional to the velocity of the molecules crossing the surface, but in in inversely proportional to collision cross section because the mean free path is inversely proportional to the, to the collision cross section and the number of density. So this is a, a general expression for transport flux of something across the surface in a gas. Okay, and the reason I say that it, it, it's apl applicable to uh, uh, momentum and to energy, but not to, to, to diffusion is that the whole idea is that uh, these what's being transported is something that was kind of equilibrated between the two molecules of the previous collision. Uh, uh, so the, the, the molecules, the, 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 the molecule acquired um, or acquired by the molecule, there's one molecule that's moving across the surface and it acquired this property uh, uh, some mean free path away by colliding with other, another molecule, okay? And so on the average, it required some average property which it carried across the surface when it moved across the surface, okay? Uh, so if it was, that when, when two molecules collide, they exchange momentum, and so, and so the, the molecule that went across the, the surface acquired some momentum by the collision with its with another molecule before crossing the surface. That's what it did. And so I carried that, on the average, that momentum across the surface. Or they exchange energy between each other. One may have 
total energy is conserved, but it can go from one molecule to the other. So energy is exchanged between one molecule and the other at some distance, a mean free pathway that's carried across the surface, uh, energy exchange. What about diffusion? What do you exchange if it's just your identity? You're not exchanging your identity with another molecule. <laughs> Diffusion is just carrying the molecule itself across the surface. Uh, the whole physics of this phenomenon, which there are books that use it for diffusion as well. The, whole, but the physics is wrong for diffusion because you're not, you're not acquiring any property by a collision if it's just yourself, you know. You, you are yourself, period. You're not going to change that. You may change your energy, or you may change your momentum, but you're not going to change yourself. Uh, uh, oh, the result for uh, uh, transfer of momentum is, is the, the uh, uh, shear stress tensor, uh, or, or the viscous stress. This is the uh, uh, stress in the x direction carried across a, sur a surface. Or, or, or uh, 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 I'm, I'm sorry, momentum in the y direction carried over across the surface normal, normal to the x direction. Depends on the velocity gradient, shear stress, uh, velocity gradient, okay? From that point of view, leads then to the, through the, uh, 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 through, through the empirical uh, expression for, 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 for uh, uh, shear stress in terms of shear viscosity coefficient and Velocity gradient, uh, uh, it lets the, a simple kinetic theory expression then for the for for the the viscosity coefficient. This is not reduced mass. This is viscosity coefficient now. A different mu from earlier mu's viscosity coefficient in terms of the collision cross section and average velocity. Uh, so this is that simple kinetic theory result for coefficient of viscosity. Chapman Enskog expansion result uh, for, is, uh, involves the K and L both being 2-2 two, two, uh, in, in the collision, collision integral. And, and so uh, this is more accurate. This is what's used. Uh, this, is, this is physical understanding, but this is uh, numerical improved accuracy. Uh, 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 here, there is no number density that appears. So, so, so then for ideal gases, this viscosity coefficient is a function only of temperature, increases with temperature. Uh, <coughs> you know, uh, the whole analysis here is, is, is was, we're, here, here we weren't talking about collisions of one kind of molecule with the other. We're, we're talking about collisions of a molecule of a particular species with another molecule of the same species. It could be then a one, a one component gas, a one component gas form formula would have that formula for viscosity coefficient. Uh, so the stress tensor that we had before is, is, is the hydrostatic pressure plus the, 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 the viscous stress tensor. The viscous stress tensor has the shear viscosity, but from a continuum point of view, there's also the possibility of another coefficient involving the uh, divergence of the velocity, the first coefficient of viscosity is the shear, co this is the second coefficient of viscosity, eta, uh, uh, which this kinetic theory will show you for, for monatomic gases uh, 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 that, that uh, uh, eta is, is two-thirds. There's only one independent uh, viscosity coefficient that uh, the second <coughs> viscosity coefficient is two-thirds of the first viscosity coefficient. Uh, uh, the, difference, the difference is, is bulk, bulk viscosity. Kappa is the coefficient of bulk viscosity, which is uh, uh, non-zero for uh, 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 diatomic molecules. And uh, uh, there are lots of uh, 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 computations where people tend to tend to say, okay, bulk viscosity is probably <coughs> negligible in combustion processes, so we just use the shear viscosity. 
that's quite questionable because uh, if, uh, bulk viscosity uh, physically turns out to be related to uh, uh, vibrational relaxation processes. Uh, uh, if they're small enough, then the bulk viscosity. If they're slow enough, then bulk viscosity is uh, is is small. But uh, typical diatomic molecules, they're not all that small. So bulk viscosity coefficients do tend to be of the same order of magnitude as shear viscosity coefficients, and ought to be included in transport descriptions for for uh, 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 for most uh, most combustion. Uh, 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 problem, problems. Uh, 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 now, it, the same kind of simple kinetic theory uh, uh, now for transporting energy uh, rather than mom momentum that's equilibrated at the previous collision. U bar is the <coughs> average, uh, uh, so it's the gradient of the average internal energy uh, that appears instead. Uh, that's w what co corresponds to molecular uh, heat conduction or heat flux is associated with carrying uh, 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 energy, both kinetic energy and internal energy across the surface by molecules with these things, again, having been equilibrated in the previous, previous uh, 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 collision. And so the uh, specific at a constant volume that turns out to be, uh, c c come in there. And if you, if you go through, uh, <laughs> and so you compare this now with the classical heat conduction formula where lambda is a coefficient of thermal conductivity. The heat flux is minus the temperature coefficient, temperature gradient times the uh, uh, coefficient of thermal 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 conductivity. Uh, 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 the the, the pre previous analysis then with comparing this with that gives you an expression for lambda in terms of specific to constant volume and uh, viscosity coefficient. I mean lambda just mu C V. Uh, 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 but if you do a a Chapman Enskog expansion instead uh, the more accurate expression for lambda, again, has the same uh, k and l exponents in the collision integral as does the viscosity, but it has a different uh, coefficient out here. It comes out of the <coughs> kat uh, theory of 25 sixteenths, which leads to it being five halves uh, of mu CV. So for monatomic gases, uh, 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 there's a good Cap Chap <coughs> Chapman Enskog result, result, which gives, which relates the uh, thermal conductivity to the viscosity coefficient in, the, in this way. Uh, uh, um, uh, but for for gases with internal degrees of freedom, like rotation and vibrational degrees of freedom, uh, uh, um, uh, this whole chapman Enskog development really doesn't apply. And Oiken suggests that, well, in, instead of this, you should, instead of this uh, five halves, you should use the simple mu CV result that comes out of the m more elementary kinetic theory for internal degrees of freedom of the molecule. That's, that's, that's the, the, the physical suggestion because uh, is, is essentially, essentially because the dependence for the, for, the, uh, uh, <coughs> for the translational degrees of freedom depend more strongly on the velocity of the molecule than do the internal degrees of freedom. So the inter uh, uh, and, and so that stronger dependence gives a, gives a different, uh, more of a transfer rate uh, across, across the surface. Uh, uh, and so the Oiken formula in terms of, can be written in terms of the ratio of CP to CV, specific to constant pressure, constant volume, gamma, uh, for relationship between 
uh, uh, thermal conductivity, heat capacity, constant volume, viscosity coefficient, and gamma. Uh, 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 <coughs> and uh, it's certainly not an accurate theory, the Oikin theory, but it's not bad, and it's probably the best we have these days uh, for, uh, uh, for, for transport properties. And so the Oiken uh, formula is widely used for thermal conductivity, relating thermal conductivity to viscosity in getting at transport uh, properties. Uh, uh, well, on to some additional aspects. We're, 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 there's, so there's physics, there's, you know, there's <laughs> momentum, there's transfer of, of you know, the, the, this looking at the momentum per unit volume to get it to get at uh, to get at at uh, uh, momentum volume to look at diffusion processes, uh, looking at uh, molecular transport across surfaces, uh, uh, looking at uh, uh, temperature effect temperature gradient effects on 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 species heat flux array array effects. Uh, uh, an additional uh, contribution, an additional effect uh, uh, that in, in energy, in, in energy heat flux, molecular heat flux, is the Onsager uh, reciprocal process to Soray effect, which is the Dufour effect. And Onsager proved quite generally from uh, continuum uh, 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 symmetry of the equations that uh, uh, if a uh, temperature gradient can produce uh, 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 a, uh, a flux of, of, of species across the surface, uh, 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 then a flux of, th then a, 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 you know, because the flux of species across the surface depends on the concentration gradient. Uh, so, so, but then it all depends on temperature gradient that produces a flux of species. Then a concentration gradient also can produce a rate of transfer of energy across the surface. That's the Dufour effect. It's the Onsager reciprocal effect of the Soray effect. Uh, and uh, uh, so, because of that, the uh, uh, somewhere, uh, uh, where am I? Uh, because of that, I keep getting, am I going in the wrong direction? Uh, ah, there I am. Because of that, uh, in the uh, expression for a multi-component gas for the, for the heat, heat, heat flux vector, we've all, all already seen that there's this radi radiant energy flux contribution but the molecular contributions then have not just ordinary heat conduction there, but it also has this, this Dufour contribution, which depends on the coefficient of thermal diffusivity. And in this formula range, the, the effect of the concentration gradient is, is written in terms of the differences of the diffusion velocities of the species, that the Dufour term. But besides that, uh, different species, chemical species have have uh, different energy levels. Uh, the, their chemical energy levels are different, for example. And so, uh, if, uh, uh, so because of that uh, associated with their diffusion velocities across the sur a surface, there is an energy flux uh, uh, associated with diffusion velocity. So there's one, two, three, these one, four different contributions to the uh, heat flux vector then in uh, um, in, uh, 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 in 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 multi-component multi-component gas mixtures, uh, re reacting multi-component gas mixtures or whatever. That, this is especially important in rea reacting for rea reacting flows. Turns out, although there are researchers out there who will tell you otherwise, that so far as I know. Unlike the Soray effect, the Dufour effect 
is always negligible in combustion. I've never found, really found it to be important. Um, so uh, people who do calculations and computations say, oh yeah, that term was important, but it's not obvious that they had the right coefficients in the term. I, I be, I'm pers per, per, even though it's in, in principle it's present, according to Onsager, in practice, I just don't see the, uh, either physically or, or, or comp computationally, I believe the computations that this is an important term. So strictly speaking, it's there, but I, uh, I don't recommend that you worry about it. Okay. Now, if you really want to treat the radiation correctly, <laughs> you need to add to this system an expression that's going to get Q, Q, R for you. That gets into the field of radiant energy transport. And this is the radiant energy transport equation for intensity of radiation of some frequency nu. Uh, omega is an angle that it's being transported at. Um, uh, B sub nu is the Planck black body function. Kappa uh, nu is the mass based uh, absorptivity for radiation of frequency nu, uh, and sigma here sub nu is again the mass-based scattering coefficient for radiation of frequency nu. Uh, unlike the Navier-Stokes equations, this is, because of this integral, this is an integral differential equation. So the general equation of radium transport is not a simple equation, it's an integral <coughs> differential equation. Uh, it is linear in I, but uh, uh, this is this is this is the incident radiation. This is scattered into the the, the volume element that's scattered scattered out. Uh, so so uh, uh, when uh, radiant energy transport is important in combustion, the problem it tends to be more. It becomes more complicated because, in principle, you should be working with integral differential equations instead of just well, partial differential equations. So, although people do tend to neglect, probably with a lot of times with reasonable, with reasonable, uh, uh, the scattering may be less important than absorption. Uh, or it might possibly be approximated to be included in some way in absorption. Um, the simplest uh, approximation is, is, is the uh, optically thin gas approximation in which both absorption and, 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 uh, and uh, radiation are neglected. O only, only the emission is included. And in that case, uh, 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 the, this, this, this quantity uh, can be related more simply to uh, uh, the, the radiant flux contribution can be related more simply to uh, 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 more, more, more simply to just an integral of the uh, uh, spectral absorption coefficient or the black body function uh, 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 this, in, in turn, then, then that leads to you know, the Stefan Boltzmann constant. Sigma t to the fourth is radiant energy flux uh, divided by the Planck mean absorption coefficient uh, for the mixture. Uh, and so this is, a, a, I think, an off, often a useful approximation in combustion from which now all you have to do is, is evaluate the Planck mean absorption coefficient, you know, in terms of you evaluate that from, from the, the uh, 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 mass space absorption coefficient and, and, and the Planck black, black body function, and then you, uh, you, you have an explicit expression for the radiant contribution, the radiant loss contribution in energy conservation from, from, that, from that result. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, 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 that then tends to uh, 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 um, 
give you uh, the missing stuff that you had before, that from before, in these in in the uh, momentum conservation equation for the stress tensor, in the energy conservation equation for the heat flux vector, and in the species conservation equation for the for the diffusion diffusion velocity. Okay, it gives you those those those, those, those results. Uh, uh, so what we've seen is, is that the, the, the uh, pressure or stress tensor can be ex expressed in terms of these two uh, coefficients, the <coughs> coefficient of shear viscosity, this is the gradient of the, of the uh, mass average velocity of the gas mixture, uh, the, the, this dyadic gradient and the transpose of that dyadic gradient. Uh, the divergence of the velocity uh, appears in this term involving the, the uh, uh, bulk viscosity. When the bulk viscosity is, is zero, the, the uh, uh, diagonal elements of the resulting tensor uh, have zero trace. And so that, uh, 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 that, that it's only the off-diagonal elements that lead to, to uh, viscous viscous effects. Uh, and uh, with that radiant energy approximation, uh, there's uh, uh, the uh, heat, con heat con conduction effect that appears in Q and the, uh, 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 and, 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 and the uh, diffusion effect that appears in Q. Now with these equations, the, the diffusion velocity is still appearing. You see, this is an, a, 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 a dependent variable in, 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 in the species conservation equation, as well as in the heat flux vector ter term. Uh, and uh, the suggestion is that, along with those, this Stephen Maxwell form for the uh, 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 for the uh, for the diffusion effect is 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 a a, a a good a good way to to describe diffusion. If you go back to to Curtis Hirschholder and Bird, uh, you can find this formula, but you also find <coughs> their uh, formulas for multi-component diffusion coefficients. Uh, uh, it, 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 leading to formulas for diffusion velocities in terms of concentration gradients. This Stefan Maxwell is a concentration gradient in terms of diffusion velocities. You can, you can invert the matrix, but the trouble is when you do that, the, the multi-component diffusion coefficients appear instead of these binary diffusion coefficients, and they're more complicated. Although, you know, uh, uh, the, there's this good, Book by Giovanni Gigli and others on transport properties, uh, ways to uh, 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 calculate them, uh, 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 and, uh, uh, and 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 and. Ways, ways, ways to calculate them, and and uh, uh, and so that's a, it is also possible and reasonable to, to to describe the diffusion through multi-component transport equations rather than the this step of Maxwell form. This is just serving to summarize the equations in chapter one of uh, the book. <coughs> this is the the. A, a parametric form for the chemical production rate, the reaction rate, with the three parameters B sub K, alpha sub K, and E sub K, uh, empirically uh, describing the r r rate of the uh, elementary reaction step K uh, in, in this form. Uh, ideal gas mixtures um, uh, equation of state, ideal gas expression for internal energy, Enthalpy of species in terms of enthalpy of formation per unit mass and thermal enthalpy of the species, 
mole fractions. So when you put those all together, you get uh, this table where, where <coughs> there are, for the conservation equations now complete, uh, um, where uh, uh, there are these various coefficients that appear, with, with numbers and things, all of these things are known, are, uh, are, are, are known, but then the, equa the, the equations themselves determine things like, I, I showed the equation for the stress tensor, for the heat flux vector, uh, well, the equation I had, it was a specific entropy of particular species. And so those equations on the previous slide uh, determine the quantities, temperature, uh, 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 diffusion of velocities and things. With the, with the asterisks here, uh, whereas this, with the star, with a with with star, it, or these are quantities that, uh, uh, that uh, uh, have to be, are properties that have to be known. To, and to put in, into into the, the equations, and so these are really the uh, reacting Navier-Stokes equations that uh, uh, should uh, 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 <coughs> that should uh, 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 that underlie uh, combustion processes. So so so. A complete understanding of those equations should lead you then to a, a, a good understanding of, of com com combustion processes. There are non-dimensional parameters that come out of these transport properties. Uh, the Prandtl number uh, 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 relating the uh, uh, viscosity and thermal conductivity coefficients. Um, uh, if you use the Oiken formula, you have an explicit expression for Prandtl number, uh, which uh, uh, is uh, two thirds then for monatomic gases, but for diatomics, it's 0.74. For air, we use you know, 0 0.7, 0 0.74 for Prandtl numbers. Uh, uh, um, um, uh, uh, the Schmidt number for a species pair IJ is the same sort of thing, viscosity divided by uh, 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 density and, and uh, so this kinematic viscosity divided by diffusion coefficient for the species pair. Just like Prandtl's numbers being less than one, so are Schmidt numbers from kinetic theory be, be, being less than one. Uh, uh, for liquids, the Prandtl number is greater than one. For, for liquids, the Schmidt number is greater than the Prandtl number. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, for gases, they're, they're less than one. For gases, the Lewis number, which is the ratio of the Schmidt number to the Prandtl number, uh, is the, or lewis sech seminoff number, which you very often see <laughs> uh, in combustion papers and things, is, is closer to one than either the Prandtl or the Schmidt. In, in, in most cases, but, but even for some gas mixtures, there are important differences between Lewis number and unity that lead to such things as, well, uh, 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 um, cellular flames and uh, pulsating flames uh, based on Lewis numbers not being equal to one. Uh, but still, Lewis number equal one can often be a, a helpful uh, 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 approximation. Uh, so, so, so that's kind of the the the, the, the final situation for for uh, for uh, conservation equations, complete conservation equations. Uh, um, and we're now well into chapter one, having finished all the appendices. Maybe a, a time to stop and ask whether whether there are any additional questions now about, about conservation equations before we start to look into their simple ways to simplify them. <coughs> so does anybody have anything more to say or question or comment or things at this stage about, about the forms of the conservation equation? Yeah, yes? In Thoret, Thoret, you 
particular uh, every molecule go to lower temperature and uh, uh, lower mass molecule go to higher temperature. What is the physical end of this? Oh, you mean why does that happen? Oh, why does that happen? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, uh, read Ferry's paper <laughs> or, or read the discussion in, 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 in appendix, appendix E of the, uh, n not on the slides, but of, of the material that's handed out. There's, there, there's a, a, a discussion of it. Uh, uh, <coughs> um, uh, uh, it, it really has basically to do with uh, 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 no. to do with uh, uh, the uh, uh, how how you approx oh, how, how 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 you uh, how you uh, Oh, what what that that mass difference does uh, to uh, 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 to 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 these to to these terms in in in, in this this momentum balance uh, 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 equation, um, and uh, it's not. It's not that simple, but it, but it it, it 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 has to do with the fact that 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 the 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 lighter molecules are traveling at higher velocities because uh, there's a ten equal partition of energy, H higher velocities, and and so so uh, uh, so 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 these higher higher velocities of of the lighter molecules. Will 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 tend to, to give them more of a transportive effect. Why does that physically transport the lighter ones into the hot side, and 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 the the uh, uh, heavier ones less transported into the hot side? Uh, uh, it's uh, it, it's. Well, Read, read, read the appendix and ask me tomorrow, okay? It's a good question. It's not the first, first time that I, I don't have a good answer. No, it's, but it's a good question. And uh, there is an answer, but I've just forgotten what it is. Uh, it's, not, it's not short that I've forgotten. Uh, any any uh, any other questions that are a little bit less embarrassing or no? <laughs> uh, uh, yes, one more. <coughs> what is the relation between the temperatures associated with the rotation and kinetic energy of molecules with the temperature defined by zero? What's the relation between rotation and kinetic energy? So the temperature associated with the rotation and the vibration of molecules and the temperature defined by zero. Yeah. Uh, everything that I've been writing down is to assuming that the, the, is that those temperatures are the same, that, that rotational temperatures are the same as, as vibrational temperatures and, uh, and translational temperatures. Uh, uh, in other words, the temperature was defined in terms of you know, what I wrote down in terms of, trans, in terms of translational temperature, kinetic energy of molecules. Um, um, uh, 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 but then that was assumed to be the thermodynamic temperature, uh, and uh, and uh, that thermodynamic temperature was then applied to, to to the rotation and vibration as well. Now there are situations, as you essentially pointed out, where 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 that's not a good approximation. Where where, for example, where you don't have vibrational or rotational equilibrium. Actually, the basis of, of the physics of, of uh, 
volt viscosity is is uh, relaxation of rotational temperature from uh, something that's different from from the translational temperature to to the uh, to to uh, the tr translational temperature. So there can be differences between temperature rotation, as you point out, or temperature vibration. And I mean, vibrational temperature relaxation between behind shock waves is something that that uh, is addressed. Uh, um, uh, to address questions like that, you have to, you, as you, you would have to use different temperatures in 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 rotation in, or vibration than than. Uh, the, the the rotational part you address through through bulk viscosity. Uh, 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 the uh, uh, the vibrational part you can address directly through vibrational relaxation. Consensus Constanti and Kruger has nice description of uh, of vibrational relaxation. Uh, when you have vibrational non-equilibrium, then strictly speaking, you don't even have a vibrational temperature. You just have a distribution of energy states that are, may not be described well by by a temperature, but in a good approximation, you can ascribe a Boltzmann distribution to the to the vibrational temperature and you, to the vibrational energy states and introduce a vibrational temperature, which is what what they do, uh, and so. But the formulas, the equations that I have here, are not are 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 not equal. They would, they, they would have to be extended to to to, to account for uh, uh, vibrational temperature difference from translation temperature. <coughs> uh, different ways that they're done. Uh, so, uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, 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 which which term are you? Uh, the, the, yeah. Oh, oh, one, oh, yes. The body force contribution. When when can that be neglected? That the, the body force contribution is negligible when the force per unit mass is the same on all on all species. So in that case, in those cases, it can, it, and, and so in a gravitational field, it, it can be neglected. For example, it's, it's zero, it's exactly zero for gravity uh, in the contribution. It's, it can be important for ionized gases uh, when you have, and so it cannot be neglected in general when you have ionized gases of different charges, positive and negative charges. Oh, well, okay, uh, 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 the equations, uh, and, uh, um, can be simplified in, sp in special cases. One, one case is, is, it would be a situation in which there's a dependence on only one space dimension, uh, uh, but, uh, but it, but, but there can be a variation, uh, 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 it's not planar flow, but it's uh, uh, a situation in which there are orthogonal uh, curvil curvilinear coordinates in three dimensions with uh, the distance ds in, in is, is a, a, a length scale factor times the change in the coordinate. The coordinate I'll always call x, even though it's an angle coordinate. Uh, uh, so ds will be will be will be g uh, ds. Uh, if you take the equations and and specialize them, uh, uh, they're in, in three dimensions to this one-dimensional form. Then uh, uh, the diffusion equation comes out uh, this way. Uh, um, uh, the point is then that these these um, uh, length scale factors then appear in, specifically in, 
This is like, like Santivedia, specifically in in the in the the, the, the for example, uh, they they appear specifically in 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 both the diagonal and off diagonal elements of the of of the pressure te te temp temp temperature. They they appear also in the in in the dyadic product for for the velocity gradient. But at any rate, you can write these uh, these equations. Uh, 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 for example, if you had quasi one dimensional flow in a variable area channel, the uh, mass conservation equation would be like this with uh, x being and then g2, g3 would be like the area change. So, so you have to account for the area change in the channel, uh, but that can be done in these, with, these, with these forms of the equations. So, our, so, so, so this is a, a simplification in going from, uh, from, uh, 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 from, from general three-dimensional situations to, to uh, 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 time-dependent one-dimensional situations. If, in, if, in addition, if, if in addition, if in addition the flow is steady, so that the time derivative is zero, then uh, mass conservation. Is, a lot of these equations become just algebraic equations. Mass conservation rho v a is equal to constant g two g three is the cross-sectional area. Uh, 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 <coughs> Um, yeah, energy conservation as, as, as well uh, 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 simplifies. This is enthalpy plus kinetic energy transport, heat flux, and, and uh, 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 pressure uh, uh, work term. Also have Lewis number unity and one-step chemical reaction. That's the classic simple combustion situation. <coughs> All, all species have the same diffusion coefficient. Lewis number is one. Simple one-step chemistry, uh, heat capacity, is, uh, and uh, um, uh, simple one-step reaction has just a simple reaction rate, a single reaction rate expression. Uh, then you get this set of really simplified conservation equations, which uh, the species conservation equation now just has a convection, diffusion, and reaction term in it. There's an analogous energy conservation condition now with a heat release term, uh, 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 heat conduction term, and, and uh, convection of, of, of thermal, thermal enthalpy term. Uh, and so there, there are two different approaches that people, you see people using in the literature to, 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 write, to, to address combustion problems. Uh, in one case, uh, and the right way to do it, I think, is kind of the way that I, to start with the reacting Navier-Stokes equations and introduce the specific uh, approximations that will lead to simplified equations like this. The other way to do it is just write down the equation that you're going to solve at the beginning. And so there are people who just write down this equation and solve it. Well, uh, what I'm trying to emphasize this morning is that, well, there's some assumptions underneath those, those, those forms that people, people off, off, often write down. Uh, uh, <coughs> if you do it this way, you can identify a, a, an, a particular operator, uh, which is a, a convection diffusion operator. And uh, uh, the equation is then that simply that convection diffusion operator is the reaction rate. This is a, a convection views and reaction equation uh, uh, and especially with <coughs> Lewis uh, number unity uh, uh, you can uh, identify for each for the different equations different different values alpha different different dependent variables alpha uh, either for a chemical species in the one-step reaction equation, or for for temperature uh, in 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 the in the uh, 
energy conservation equation. And the, uh, then the difference between uh, those is, is they, they, they all have the same, they all have the same chemical source term, omega, so the difference between them has no chemical source term, it's just the reaction diffusion difference. Uh, and that, and so you can often identify then the reaction diffusion difference uh, 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 that then becomes independent of the chemistry and solve for, for these so-called coupling <coughs> functions, beta, solve for them in terms of, solve for the coupling functions, uh, uh, they turn out then to be independent of the rate of the chemical reaction. Uh, that's useful, for example, in describing uh, droplet burning in, in, uh, 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 in reaction sheet approximations, high polar number droplet burning problems and, and things. And so uh, uh, a lot of combustion theory is, is in the past been devoted to these simplified conservation equations. Well, also uh, uh, a result that's useful, use, useful in, in some cases is if, if you have to imply, apply conservation conditions across an interface. And uh, uh, the last thing in chapter one is this, is this uh, formula here, which is a, a general form of the conservation equations applied across the interface. So if you come to a problem where you need interface condition, uh, you can look here for a general, a general interface, interface condition. So that's really the last uh, part. So we actually completed all of uh, chapter one in appendices in this morning. Boy, you, uh, we, 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 we went further than I thought we could, we could go. We got through the whole thing this morning. So uh, it's, I, I've enjoyed it. Do you have any question, any more questions at this stage about any of these simplifications or anything? Or comments or observations? Yes. You mentioned about the importance of bulk viscosity. Yeah. Yes. Are there any, could you give some examples for some observable features which cannot be captured in computations if bulk viscosity is not accounted for? Uh, I think it's a quantitative, it tends to be a quantitative effect more, more, than, a, more than a qualitative effect. Uh, it's simply that, uh, yeah, uh, 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 um, uh, if you uh, look at uh, uh, velocity variations through a, a, a premixed flame or something like that, uh, and uh, uh, you're interested in the velocity field, it usually is not, 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 not that significant for chemical reaction rate, but, uh, but for the velocity field, it'll give you a, a, uh, 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 a, a more, gradual, uh, uh, more gradual gradient of velocity than you would otherwise calculate, for example. Uh, so, uh, but it's a quantum, it's, it tends, the difference is, I don't know of any important qualitative difference, but quantitatively, all I'm saying is quantitatively, it can make a difference. Perhaps in the same velocity? Not, not, not in the propagation velocity, but, but in, the, in, in the velocity, in, how, how, in, the, in, the, in the flame thickness, for example. Yeah, yeah. Anything else? Yes. Yeah. Oh, non-unity Lewis number is very important uh, for for many for many phenomena. Uh, I I think probably Tim will will talk about uh, 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 stability questions and, and cellular flames. Uh, uh, with, without without if, if Lewis number is unity, you don't have cellular flames, <laughs> and cellular flames are important. So, uh, so, so there, there there are lots of important combustion problems for non-unity Lewis number. Okay, yeah. was that is that the question or? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, you mentioned 
general uh, Stephen and Maxwell form you mentioned. Yes. Uh, there are only the binary diffusion coefficients right. that show up in the equation. That's right. Even though the, the, the situation is a multi-component reacting or diffusing system, in that form, it's the binary diffusion coefficients is, that appear. Uh, is it a result of a uh, formulation, or is there an underlying assumption there? For, for no, no, there's, well. Um, <coughs> is, yeah, your question is a good one. Uh, there is uh, uh, an underlying uh, assumption, which is, um, I, it's based on a Sonine polynomial expansion in kinetic theory, and uh, uh, if higher order terms in the Sonine pol polynomial expansion were important, then, then you could not get away with just the binary diffusion coefficient. So there's a kind of underlying assumption, but it's a probably, I think it's a good, a good underlying assumption. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Uh, I don't know whether that's a good, whether that's a, <laughs> uh, okay. It, yeah. Anything else? Well, uh, thank you for the first half. It'll be later on in the week. We'll go over quite different material. So <laughs> thanks for your attention. Thank you.